Witam serdecznie z tej strony Jakobs. Zapraszam do kolejnego epizodu, czyli trzeciego w grze The Long Dark. Bierzemy, wybieramy oczywiście ten poziom doświadczony, ocalały. No i zaczynamy. A, tutaj jeszcze wypiszemy sobie może Episode 3, czyli mi nie lecimy. There's an isolated community in the northern part of a Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great and... Bear? There's nothing there anymore. Not since. I know. But I have to get there. I seem to recall. A town somewhere up north, far, what was it called? That's it. Perseverance Mills. It was like sparks everywhere and then fire. She fought like hell to try and get him out. We tried to stop her, but she ended up on the bus. And somehow, she was small enough to crawl through the crushed part. Did you see the lights in the night sky, the aurora? Well, when that flared up, the radio came to life. Just lit up, started spitting out noise, but it was all gibberish. Hello? Is this the radio station at Perseverance Mills? Is there a doctor with you? What's in the case? I have no idea. Don't worry, pilot. You'll be with her soon.
So, she lives. Where am I? And she speaks. You're in my house. Found you out in the snow a few days ago. A, f a few days? Almost dead. You're half frozen and then feverish. Judging by those cuts, you've been dealing with more than just the bad weather. I... Uh... I ran into some trouble on the other side of that tunnel. <laughs> By the looks of it, I'd say the trouble ran into you. Where am I? I told you. My house. You're still weak. Rest up and we'll talk more later. No, no. I'm, uh... I I'll be, I'll be okay. Suit yourself. Then let's talk. You said we're in your house. But how did I get here? I was out... hunting. Came across you in the snow. Buried. You'd been out there for hours. Maybe even days. Nearly dead. Wow. Oh. Well, um... <laughs> Thank you for finding me. Name's Molly. And don't thank me. <laughs> thank the crow. Crow? Yeah, crow. Or maybe a raven. Damn bird wouldn't shut up. Led me straight to you. Almost like it was guiding me. You carried me here? Dragged more like, but yeah. You're pretty far gone. Wasn't sure you'd make it, to be honest. Well, all I remember is the tunnel. And the wolves. Being chased and then wandering. Forever. Like the world at no end. Yeah. In the woods. In the dark. You've been wandering for days until you get so hopelessly lost. There's... Just no way to get back to where you were. I was in a small town. Milton. Other side of the mountains. Old town. Bad shape since the collapse. Haven't been there in ages. You must have wandered a ways for me to find you where I did. But you're not from there. No. The old town. Milton. Gone. I mean, people are gone. Most of them are. It was a fire and. <laughs> Whoa, it's okay. You're all right now. Don't get too worked up. You nearly died out there. That does funny things to people. So, the power's been out for a while? Yep. Think it'll come back? Well, we're used to the power going on and off out here in Pleasant Valley, so we're usually prepared for it. Feels like you run this farm on generators for a better part of the year. Problem is, now the generators won't start, or the cars, tractor, the TV's dead, radio won't work. Basically, the only thing that works is the old landline and rotary phone. How is that possible? I guess because it's pre-electronics. The old party line from when this farm was originally put in, maybe 60, 70 years ago. I'm not exactly sure how or why it still works, but it does. Well, that's great. C can you call for help? Find out what's going on out there? There's nobody to call. Nobody else lives around here? Nobody who'd help if you asked for it. Is this your kitchen? By the time I got you here, there was no way I was carrying you upstairs. So you set up a bed in here? Power's out. This is the warmest room in the house. This cook stove is probably keeping us alive. 
I was in a plane crash in the mountains. That's how I ended up in Milton. I, I got separated from a, from a friend. They were in the crash too? Yes. They make it out alive? Well, there, there was a storm. Wolves. I, I got disoriented. We got separated. I, I couldn't, couldn't see him. Him? So you left him out there? And then I ran into trouble. Wolves and worse. I'm sure he made it out fine. Yeah? How are you so sure? <laughs> Nothing could break that stubborn skull. But you're worried about him. Yes. And there's something I need from the plane. What is it? Something important. <laughs> I need to find him. I need to get it back. You haven't seen a man pass through here. Nobody that sounds like your guy. But you've seen a man. Like I said, nobody that sounds like your guy. Freezer's empty. You're gonna need energy to heal, which means we need meat. I'll be heading out early to hunt. Okay. You should stay here. Rest up some more. You don't look too good. Thank you. I will. And it's not safe out there, so just stay in the house. Right. I mean it. Stay in the house. Ah, you're awake. Thought you were resting. Managed to bag a stag not far from the farm. This'll keep us fed for a bit. I heard a kettle whistling. I put it on for tea. So we can have tea and meat. I must be starting to feel better because that actually sounds good. It's amazing what hunger does to the mind. If you're feeling better, you can start answering some questions. Like, what the hell are you really doing out here? <sighs> That's a long story. Well, power's been out for... I've lost track of how long. We got the cold, we got deadly blizzards, we got hungry wolves, we got some tea and meat. We aren't going anywhere. So to be honest, a bit of storytelling be a nice distraction right about now. I'm a doctor, Dr. Astrid Greenwood. Nice to meet you, Dr. Astrid. Like a head colds and babies doctor? More like lab coats and test tubes, a researcher. Oh, okay, so not the useful kind. I need to get to a town up north, Perseverance Mills. You know where that is? I don't get out much, but yeah, I've heard of it. Okay, well, there's some sick people there and they need my help. And the thing I lost in the plane crash, the thing my friend might have, I need it if I'm gonna help those people. The thing the stubborn guy you left in a plane crash might have? Right. So what you're saying is the thing you need is on the other side of that collapsed tunnel in the mountains, in the place where you ran into trouble. That's right. You know what? You coming here? To Great Bear? Yeah. Not your best plan. So the people up north, in Perseverance Mills, why are they sick? I'm not entirely sure. That's why I need to get there. You must have some ideas, or why travel all this way? I have some ideas, yes but you aren't gonna tell me what they are. No, I'm not. 
And the thing your friend in the plane crash has, the thing you need to help them. You aren't going to tell me what it is either, are you? Right. Well, you are a lady with a lot of secrets. So, when you came in, I heard you locking a padlock. Same thing when you went out. Am I locked in here? It's better for you to stay indoors. Why? Lots of wolves out there, and it's cold. You aren't strong enough to go out there yet. Trust me, it's for your own safety. I appreciate everything you've done to help, but I'd like to leave. I have to find my friend and get on with my work. When you're stronger. So, I'm trapped in here. Like I said, it's for your own good. So, um... Is your husband around? Husband? It seems like more than one adult lives here. I assumed, uh, husband. Assumptions can be dangerous. You're a doctor, you should know that. I didn't mean to... Uh... You should just mind your own business. But you just got back. I need space. Need to think. I'm sorry. I... <sighs> Stay out of my shit. Looks like I'm not the only one with secrets. No, dobrze, więc tak, jesteśmy uwięzieni przez kobiet, przez Molly, kobietę. Gramy oczywiście Astrid w tym trzecim rozdziale. Co nam jest? Kręcona kostka. Ale ma żarcie tutaj. Ona na mięso chodzi powołać. Looks like Molly from a while ago. Ah. <clears throat> I'm gonna need some fur. from something. Marańczowa tkanina. Teraz mi tu dzwoni, jak ja szukam. you surrounded are you in trouble not who what it's those damn wolves they've cornered me in the barn 
It sounds like they're trying to find a way in. But, but wolves don't usually bother people. Don't bother people. Shit, lady, haven't you been paying attention? Never mind that. Okay, okay, what can I do? I need you to bring me something from the house. Okay, but you locked me in here, remember? Flower vase. Key to the basement's under it. Look for the gun locker. Grab the rifle rounds. Take the old revolver for protection. Might not stop a wolf, but it'll slow one down. Follow the blizzard line from the house to the barn. Get here quick and we'll figure it out. Hurry! Okay, okay, I'm on my way. Go straight to the gun locker. Stay out of everything else, got it? Dobra, ale ja tam jeszcze nie, nie przeszukałem niczego. Czy ja mogę się, nie mogę się uleczyć? Kurde. Nic tu nie ma. Dobra, idziemy do tej piwnicy. Idziemy do piwnicy. Stuff will come in handy. Chocolate. What? What? Oh, troop. Ma męża w piwnicy. No, ciekawe. Rampa. Might as well bring this along. Mamy rewolwer. I think I can use this. Can you know? Dobra, nic tu więcej chyba nie będzie. Dobra, musimy zrobić sobie bandaż. Tkaniny by się przydało znaleźć, ale tam z domu nie wezmę chyba tych tkanin. A jeszcze apteczka. Tu był bandaż na dole.
Wyjdź z piwnicy. Zobaczmy, no. Nie mam wątpień, dobra. There are the lines to the barn. Stronę do tej piwnicy, znaczy to doły. Tą? Czy w drugą? Hello? Is that you? Molly? Yeah. Look, sorry I bailed on you, but I couldn't take a chance and wait. One of those big bastards broke into the barn. And as luck would have it, I'd left my bow in here last summer completely forgotten. Anyways, took care of that son of a bitch. Molly, I was in your basement. Right. So? I, um, I found the body. Oh, shit. Molly, who, uh, who was it? Just, it's none of your business. I told you to stay out of my shit. Huh. An old flyer for a town meeting of some kind. Looks like the town's not too far from here. If Mackenzie did pass through, he might have ended up there. Poszukajmy tutaj, czy coś jest. My tu zamarzamy, bo jest zimno. Dawaj szybciej, może coś tu będzie. Albo i nie. Drabina była w ogóle. Tu nie mam. Zejdziesz po drabinie? Nie, nie zejdziesz. Wolisz spać. Hmm. 
Dobra, może chwilę się zagrzejemy, czy coś takiego. Come on, little fire. Perfect. Woda. Dobra, mamy tu komuś. Koszulka najniższy. Może uda się naprawić. Znajdź przeprawę tą samą. Nie wiem, w tym czy w tym? Kurczę, nie pamiętam. Dobra, trzeba iść teraz. Ej, dodaj mi tutaj drzewo. Czego nie pominąłem. Tak, tu jesteśmy tu. Musimy iść w prawo. Lecisz tam z Kuby, dziadu. Chciał tam, gdzie nie trzeba. Głupi wilk. Tu zajrzymy do tego, może po drodze. Gdzie ona tam pochodnie? Bierz tym pochodnie. Nie zdążyłem przeczytać o wilk. A 
Ale to zaraz przeczytamy, jak dojdziemy do jakiegoś budynku. Tutaj jest jakaś stodoła jeszcze. I ślady krwi. Dobra, później poczytamy, bo zimno się robi. Dobra. Wracamy na drogę. To doły najpierw. Czy co to jest? Budynki jakieś gospodarcze. Znowu. Tu jest samochód jeszcze do przeszukania. Ale to jak wyjdziemy później ze stodoły, to podejdziemy sobie. No, wiedziałem, że pójdzie za nami. Wejdziemy tam, zobaczymy, czy coś jest. Spokojnie, zaraz będziemy w środku. Nie wiem, czy tam będzie ciepło w ogóle. Rzecz dwa chociaż. Katalizator. No, nie tutaj. Nie usypiaj, bo nie mamy śpiwora. Zero. Dobra. Tutaj zakończymy. Także widzimy się w następnym odcinku. Przeszukamy sobie już w następnym odcinku. Także dzięki za oglądanie. Trzymajcie się. Hej. Cześć.